If you are using the marketing hub inside of your HubSpot portal, chances are you're going to want to send out lead nurturing campaigns or drip campaigns to your prospects and to your customers. So today we're going to look at how to use a workflow to do just that. So I'm in here. I'm going to create a new workflow. This is going to be contact based. I'm just going to make this simple. I'm going to be sending this based on contacts. This is just my new nurture. I'm going to hit next. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick some triggers. How are people going to get into this nurture that I'm setting up? So for us, we're just going to say a form submission, any form you fill out on our website, that's going to be enough to trigger. I'm going to come into this workflow and start. You can add all kinds of other exclusions, all kinds of other specifics. But for this example here, we're just going to start simple. And then the first step we're going to have is to send an email. We're just going to come right here, find this nurture number one. If you haven't made an email yet, you can create a new email, but we have a nurture already set up here. So I'm going to hit save and that's my first email. The next step, we're going to add a quick delay. So we're going to say we're going to wait three days and five hours and two minutes, and then we're going to send another email. So I hit save here. I've saved this delay action. Come in, create another email. Find my nurture number two here. Great. So now anyone who fills out a form, they're going to get an email. We're going to wait three days, five hours and two minutes, send them a second email and so on. So we can keep adding steps here to whatever we want the nurture to look like. Separately, there's a lot of different settings we can kind of control to say, all right, people, we don't want to enter this workflow. We never want to send them this nurture. Or when certain things happen, we want to stop sending this nurture. If you come over to the settings tab here, the first thing you can do is pick, when do I want this workflow to run? So I don't want to send people emails on the weekend. I'm going to say this is just going to run Monday to Friday. And I don't want to send it outside of work hours, so I can pick specific hours. This is going to run only. I can also set a campaign that this is going to be included in to help my reporting metrics a little bit. And then if I go here on the left to this unenrollment and suppression, well, I guess it wants me to save first. I can also come in here and set up some specific rules around when someone starts this workflow, I want to take them out of other workflows. Or I want to take them out of all their other workflows or vice versa. If you know if someone no longer meets my conditions, let's say my conditions included that they had to be an active, uh, you know, have an active deal on the board and we're going to nurture our active prospects. I can have this rule here that says I'm going to remove them when they no longer reach the criteria. Separately, I can also set up a suppression list. So any of the lists that I create in HubSpot, I can say if someone goes on this list, take them out of my workflow, that's going to stop sending them, in this case, the nurtures that we have. There's another feature for goals, and HubSpot will let you use goals pretty much the same way. I can set a goal and say, all right, if someone books a meeting, that's my goal for this workflow, and I'm going to stop sending them the nurture. Or if someone you know, completes a purchase uh, in an e-commerce store, that's going to stop their, their nurture here. You know, Any of those combinations of activities we can kind of trigger and, and stop on, we can um, you know, include as these goals here. And that lets you see how effective is this workflow along the way. Are we achieving our goal? Are we nurturing people into becoming customers? Are we nurturing prospects into becoming opportunities? Whatever the kind of stage or journey they're, they're in right then, uh, we want to make sure we're accurately attributing uh, good actions and we're able to measure the ones that are having the most impact. Thanks for watching.